Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly add effects in Reaper. Now, for you advanced users, this is a bit basic. It's more for new users, but you might still get something out of this. So anyway, when we're adding effects, you might think the quickest way is to go here to the effects button, click it, it opens up this dialog, then we hit add, and we can add effects from here. But I find that to be a bit slow. Here's a quicker way. Instead, go to this button and right click it. That opens up this menu right here. And right now, we just see recently used. That's because I haven't created any folders yet. But if we create folders, they're going to show up here as well. So let's do that. Let's open this, go to add, and right down over here, we're going to add some folders. So let's right click, create a new folder, and here we can create a new folder. And now we'll name this new folder. Let's start off with EQ, and let's use the new feature in Reaper 5 called Smart Folders. What this is going to do, it's going to create folders automatically based on the name of our plugins. So if we type in EQ, it's going to automatically create a folder with all the plugins that have the letters EQ in them. As you can see right here. So these are our EQ plugins. Let's do another one for compressor. We'll name it compressor or compressors. But for the smart folder, let's just use COMP because some compressors don't spell out the full word. We'll go down here. And you can see the Waves compressor is just titled SSL Comp. So if we use compressor as the full word, it wouldn't show up. That's important to specify. Let's add another one for reverb. We'll do the same thing. Create a smart folder. Now we have a folder for all of our reverbs. Let's create another one for delay. And finally, for instruments. Now this is a bit tricky because there's no string of letters that all the instruments have. So we'll do this manually. Go to the instruments over here, select them all, and just drag them in manually. Right to here. And now they're in this folder. So that's good for now. We'll cancel out of this. And now if we right click, the effects button, our folders show up. EQ, compressors, reverb, delay, and our virtual instruments. That's a lot quicker. I'm going to add some EQ. Go right here. We could add some EQ. Now, if you notice, just the plugin shows up, as opposed to clicking the button here and getting the plugin plus the list here. And we can choose the plugins that are already on the track. They show up down here. And again, just the plugin opens up, not the list of plugins that are on the track here. Let's add a compressor. Go to the folder, choose the compressor here, and that does the same thing. And also note, it'll put the plugins in order based on when we select them. So our EQ is before the compressor because we chose the compressor second. But we could switch it right here. Put the compressor before the EQ or the EQ before the compressor. Now they both show up right down over here. So if we want to edit the EQ, we can do it here or the compressor right from here. Now, if we're adding reverb or delay, we probably don't want to put them right on the track. We want to create a new track or an effects return and send the reverb or delay to that track. So let's do that. Make a new track here. Let's put a reverb on it. Right click, choose our reverb. I'll choose this one here. Now, when we put a reverb on an effects return, we want to make sure the effect is fully wet or 100% wet like this, 
This way, none of the direct sound is coming out of this channel or track. It'll be completely wet, and the direct sound is coming from this track. And then if we want to send the track to that reverb, the quickest way to do that is to grab it from the routing right here and drop it on this track. See how the cursor changes? Looks like a plug or a patch bay wire. Just drop it, and it creates the send right here. So now if we want to add reverb to this track, we could do it right from here. Start with nothing, and slowly bring it up. See how it sends it? And we do the same thing for delay. Let's delete this. And now this track still has our EQ and our compression. And we can bypass them at the same time hitting this button. And both plugins are bypassed. If we want to bypass just one of them, we would do it from here. Just turn them on and off from here. And if we want to delete the plugins in one shot, go to the Effects button, hold on Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC, and it removes them with just one click. So there's no effects on this track. Notice it's not green anymore. So that's pretty much it. That's the quick way to add plugins or effects to any track. Create our folders right here, and then right click the button and choose them right here. EQ, compressors, reverb, delay, or instruments. And obviously, you're gonna set up the folders how you prefer them. So anyway, that's how to add effects or plugins to tracks very quickly in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.